watch mechanisms have been a perpetual source of fascination since the origins of watchmaking. It is therefore hardly surprising that watchmakers have sought to sublimate the inner workings of their creations. They could, of course, choose to decorate only the visible parts of the watch, but that would mean ignoring the lofty demands governing the artistic crafts jealously safeguarded by the manufacturer Audemars Piguet. The Jules Audemars equation of time is a vivid illustration of this perfectionist approach. It is a skeleton or open-worked watch that allows light to shine through it. Fashioning a movement to create such transparency effects calls for the cooperation of several talents. Open working, beveling, filing, engraving, and of course, polishing. The final result reveals an elegant lacework pattern of gold and steel that draws admiring glances. In addition to the inherent beauty of this fine workmanship, finishing also serves to eliminate machining imperfections and to protect the movement from oxidation. The engraver provides the ultimate example of the extremely meticulous nature of decorative tasks. The parts are decorated with various motifs and inscriptions. After tracing the motif with a special pointed scriber, the engraver uses a variety of tools to incise the material and create an appealing play of light and shade. Chasing then serves to model the material over a few tenths of a millimeter. The aim is to simulate volume in the manner of a trompe l'oeil painting the rope motif adorning the oscillating weight of the Joule Audemars equation of time is created using this technique. It is well worth noting that no machine could hope to replace the human hand within this context. If the engraver were to remove too much of the matter, it would prove detrimental to the smooth running of the movement. The artist must therefore be careful to preserve the technical and functional imperatives while following his own inspiration. Once his task is done, the engraver buffs the part, meaning polishing it carefully in order to erase any tiny scratches that his tool might have left during his work. The parts are now ready to be assembled and to find their place within the movement of the Jules Audemars Equation of Time watch. Like their predecessors in 1875, the watchmakers of Le Brassus tirelessly continue perfecting their creations and lavishing as much care on the watch movement as they do on its exterior.